Hey there, do idea solvers. You may not know this, but every day in this country, hundreds of people show up to the emergency room being blue in the face because they were caught in an argument with someone regarding whether cold air intakes improve performance or not. So today, we're gonna to try and put an end to this. That's right, we're gonna save lives today. And we're going to do that by explaining exactly how upgrading your factory intake setup to a cold air intake can improve performance on your car. Does it matter if it's done on a forced induction vehicle like this Audi or on this naturally aspirated Ecotec four cylinder engine that's on this Pontiac? Alrighty, so to break things down, a cold air intake setup or in fact any upgrade to your intake system can improve performance if and only if it can achieve two things. Number one, whether it can take in cooler air relative to the temperature of the air that your current factory intake is taking into the engine. Because cooler air is more dense and what that means is that the oxygen molecules are closer together so you can basically push in more air into the same space or the same size of the engine and when you can do that you can add in more fuel and make more power and go faster. And the number two condition on whether a cold air intake setup or an intake upgrade can improve performance is that whether it can be less restrictive than the factory intake setup on your car or in other words allow for more easy flow of air into your engine. All right, so let's use my Audi as an example. As you can see, on this setup, air enters right here, goes here to the air filter box, goes through the air filter, comes back up, goes through this pipe, down the Y pipe, it splits off and goes to the turbos on each bank. Then from there, I can show you better if I take this cover off. And then from there, after going through our turbos on each side on this setup, it goes to our intercoolers, then from there it comes through these pipes to our throttle body and from there to our intake manifold and then from there to each cylinder head. Now if we were to put a cold air intake system on this setup, it's going to depend greatly on the cold air intake kit we use on whether it can improve performance or not. And what I mean by that is let's say the cold air intake kit we use is going to delete most of this stuff and take in air from this corner instead of this spot right here. Well, if it takes in air from this side, it's really close to the engine. It's pretty much going to take much warmer air than this current setup is taking from the outside of the engine bay. And obviously that's counterproductive because if you take in hotter air relative to your factory setup, you know, the air molecules are going to be further apart. So you're actually taking in less air and you're going to produce less power. But what about uh, it being less restrictive than the factory setup? Yeah, in this setup, there might be an argument there because again, air comes through here, goes to the bottom of the air filter box, comes back up, and then goes to this Y pipe here. So if you put, let's say an intake that takes in air from here, or even if you put an intake that takes air straight from this spot without it looping around in this filter box and having some type of a filter in there, then you could make the argument that this, this would be less restrictive than this setup and air would get into the engine much easier. But you gotta keep in mind that on engines that use forced induction, like this Audi that uses turbochargers or other engines that use superchargers, those things are spinning so fast and sucking in so, so much air so rapidly, especially at wide open throttle, that air has no problem finding its way into the in, inside of the engine and to the supercharger or the turbocharger. Now obviously, sure, less restriction is always better, but on this setup, you know, spending the money on Upgrading the intake system up to the Y pipe, let's say, may not pay off in gain as far as horsepower or torque is concerned. Now, funny enough, now that I'm thinking about it and looking at this further, you know, the most restriction in this setup is actually probably, I'm gonna assume, right here, where the into air that's coming in here hits this Y pipe right here. So, if I were to upgrade the intake system on this, I would not look into putting a cold air intake, but rather, I might upgrade this where the new one or the performance one would be more smoother probably in this department and allow for the easier flow of air to the turbos. So in my opinion on forced induction engines, upgrading your factory setup to a cold air intake uh, setup usually does not pay off unless you know, you're trying to squeeze every one or two horsepower out, out of uh, some engine, then you might wanna look into that. But generally speaking, it, the money you spend doesn't pay off. You're much better spending that money on your intercoolers on these systems because that's where the air gets cooled and if you can upgrade that and make the air that's going to your engine cooler again, obviously you can create more power. All right, now let's go over to the Pontiac. All right, so on this naturally aspirated engine, 
as you can see, air comes into our filter box right through there, which is right inside our fender well, well away from the heat that's being produced by this engine inside the engine bay. From there, it goes through our filter, through this pipe, to our throttle body, to our intake manifold, and our engine. Now this setup might not be a perfect example, but let's say you put a cold air intake system that takes in air from around the same area, but it also has shields that protect it from the heat that's being produced by the engine and keep it away from the engine. And at the same time, it's let's say it's less restrictive than this air box that takes in air to your throttle body. Now a lot of air filter boxes are actually restrictive by design, and that's because you know, when your car is running and the engine is running, uh, especially at wide open throttle, there's a lot of engine noise that goes through the throttle body out into the air filter box, from there into the engine bay, and from there it can obviously be heard inside the cabin sometimes. And manufacturers want to try to keep that at a minimum. So they make the air filter boxes uh, somewhat restrictive. They make the air go through a turn or two so that the noise that's coming out of the throttle body cannot be heard inside the cabin. Now this restriction is obviously going to hinder performance, so there is a good argument that if you can upgrade to a colder intake setup that takes in air that's at least the same temperature as the air that was being taken in by the factory setup, but, but it's less restrictive than the air filter box and the factory setup, you can produce more power. However, you're obviously going to hear more noise coming from your engine. But if you're looking for cold air intakes, I'm going to assume you don't care about that. But here's a problem you might run into on a setup that's similar to this if you're going to upgrade your cold air intake. A lot of times, the cold air intake is going to take in air from this general area and not specifically from where the factory was taking in air from behind the fender. You know, even if you put shields around it, you're still going to get taken hotter air than the factory setup was taking. Now, is that going to offset the less restriction you have in the cold air intake system that you're putting on your car and Going, are you going to gain more power? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? But uh, as far as I guess uh, whether a cold air intake can improve performance or not, well, we have our answer. It can if it can meet those criteria. Now, as far as whether a cold air intake system for your specific car or setup can improve performance, the uh, tips I can give you is basically do a lot of research. You know, I'm gonna assume a, the car you're looking to put a cold air intake on is a sports car. There are gonna be a lot of forums out there and try to get proof from someone that, you know, put a cold air intake system on their car and a cold air intake system only and did a dyno run and they clearly notice an improvement in their numbers. If that's the case, make sure what setup, what brand and what filter they use and use the same thing. Because for all the reasons we just talked about, if you put any cold air intake system on your car, you may not see any gains because it may not meet the criteria of shielding heat or taking in uh, cooler air or being less restrictive, but if you put a specific cold air intake that has a proven track record, then you can obviously expect gains. So there you have it folks. Now if you enjoyed watching this video and want to support my channel, do me a huge favor and subscribe to my channel, but even more importantly, check out my other related videos. You can either click on this one up here or on the one right below it or on any of my videos in the suggestion box will work as well. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon.